Something that's been keeping me up lately is something that I really don't want to admit and it's really weird to say but I do, I'm not even kidding right now, I do think a lot about Big Ed. No, Jesus Christ, that's not what I meant. How come we haven't seen Big Ed in a while? It's been almost three months since the last time we saw Big Ed. And then I realized that he has a YouTube channel. So I figured he's been focusing on his YouTube channel and I see that he hasn't posted in a while. And I'm like, damn it, why hasn't he been posting? And how come we haven't seen him in a while? And then it finally hit me. Big Ed has been shooting for TLC again, which means that we are gonna get another season of Big Ed and which also means, who asked for it? Who asked for another season of Big Ed? While I'm taking a look at Big Ed's channel, which I realized he has a really weird YouTube channel. Oh, thanks. Oh, what's this? What's what? You baked the cake. You weren't supposed to find that. He posted this video a while ago that I've never seen before and YouTubers didn't talk about and as Sean from TLC likes to say So right now we're going to play some never seen footage before from Ed's and Rose's relationship back in Philippines So keep in mind never seen before footage. Let's take a look In 2019 I filmed a show with TLC called 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, no shit Sherlock. Here are some photos and videos from my trip to the Philippines. Okay. I'm Ed. I'm 54 years old. People know me as Big Ed. Why is he still promoting that stupid mayo? Like, is he getting paid by mayo? Hashtag spawns by mayo? Are brands actually paying this dude to promote their mayo? I don't even see any labels. Like, if this was an ad, I would get it. Like, get, get that bag, make some money, promote the mayo. But why is he promoting mayo so much? Last FaceTime with Rose before I, get to, before I got to see her real, in real life. Okay, hey mama, this is a little bit of overkill. So, I wanted to FaceTime, but I know that... Uh... You know, you're not picking up, which is cool. So look, I just wanted to s oh, want you to sad. see my face. You know, God forbid something should ever happen to me. I want you to know um, that I love you. You're the best thing that I've ever created in this world. And no matter what happens to me. <laughs> Why is it so dramatic, dude? You're going to see your girlfriend in the Philippines. You're not going to war. And the same thing goes to his daughter. She didn't pick up the phone to talk to her dad, so he had to send her a video message. It's your dad. Even though you don't like what he's doing, I don't see why you won't pick up the phone just to talk to him for a few minutes. Big Ed is over here sending his daughter a message like he's preparing to go to war. Hey Tiffany, it's your dad. I just finished working out. And uh, yeah, you've heard the news. I've been drafted. I don't know how... I don't know how this happened, but uh, I'm going on vacation <laughs> to Philippines. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to me in Philippines. <laughs> I might die. They're going to kill me. I don't know how I got drafted to go on vacation to meet my girlfriend in Philippines. I don't know how that happened because Philippines is insanely dangerous, dude. They have guns, you know? Oh wait, that's that's America, my bad. Uh, they have rights for their guns, which they can legally carry guns. And it, Oh wait, that's also America. But Philippines is dangerous. They do stuff. I can't be doing stuff that they do. That's crazy. This is so dramatic for no fucking reason. Um, you'll always be my daughter. You'll always be my number one. Dude, and, relax. And I just wanted to, you know, look at you and tell you that. But uh, here's the next best thing. So I still haven't cut my hair. You know. I don't want to see it. Kind of in a sumo wrestler type no one no one asked but uh for what it's worth tiff i love you and um god bless you and be safe and um and i pray to god I'm, i'll be fine i'm gonna be fine i'm you know i'm not worried about where i'm going it's just want to go there and see how i feel so brave and if i don't feel it then i'm coming back you know it's it's as simple as that you might hate big ed i I honestly am a hater as well, 
but you cannot deny that the dude is brave. Hate him, say whatever you want about him. You cannot deny that this dude has the balls. The fact that he's willing to travel to the Philippines to see his girlfriend? I, I can't, I personally could never do that. That takes balls, and I can imagine this dude's balls being massive, bigger than his entire fucking head. Props to you, Big Ed. You know, I'm over here hating, but goddamn, you got the balls, dude. And hoping to see you on the other side, okay, mama? All my love, God bless. Other side? And I'll talk to you soon. What other side? Love you, bye. Is, is he dying? <laughs> what other side? Is he like just dying? Unfortunately, I'll be passing away on my trip to Philippines, so... I'll see you on the other side. Hopefully it's heaven and not hell. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll see you on the other side. I love you, baby mama. Oh, you guys, listen, this is it. I'm about, I'm about to get on that flight behind me. I'm about to go over the Pacific Ocean to see my rose. And this is it. This is the final destination. It's my last step on American soil. I'm gonna go to uh, Manila and meet my rose. So here we go. So dramatic. Oh my god. Oh, pictures. They look happy. Wait, so they look happy though. It's interesting to see how TLC really makes the show as dramatic as possible. We didn't, we really didn't see many clips where they were a happy couple because the pictures are showing different. She looks happy. He looks happy. And they probably did some fun stuff together, which they, we never saw because that's how TLC decides to portray this couple as. But it's nice to see that they had good times as well and not just bad times that we saw on the show. Look at how happy they look. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like she's getting a little sad. Oh no. Can I have a kiss? Oh, I don't know. Oh, beard, it's hurt on me. Ouch. What happened to the big smile? <gasps> Did anyone see how the pictures went from Rose being really happy at the beginning <laughs> to Rose being like barely smiling? <laughs> I was just gonna say I'm glad to see that they had some happy moments, but then Rose's smile went from this to this. The more days she spent with Ed, the more she realized that they were in a match and Ed wasn't treating her right. Oh no, what happened to these pictures, y'all? No regrets. Live, laugh, love. That reminds me of like Facebook moms. Their favorite saying is live, laugh, love. And besides that, this dude is just like mega weird on his YouTube channel. He does it for entertainment purposes, but it's not entertainment when no one's laughing. This is what Big Ed considers entertainment. Dance with me. So it's basically a three minute video of a four second clip of Big Ed just doing this. What the fuck is going on? Now, Big Ed, if you're watching this, I only got one question for you. Why? There's also a lot of deleted clips of Big Ed being half naked. I can't remember the amount of times that we've seen Big Ed half naked. I feel like I've seen Big Ed half naked more than I've seen myself. I don't know what's with him always showing his body, like not to be mean or anything, but it's not the sexiest body to look at. Just when you think this channel couldn't get any more disgusting with Big Ed being half naked all the time, we also have Big Ed eating a five pound burger in the most disgusting way that I've seen on YouTube. Like who is asking for these videos? What's on the burger? There's hash browns, there's egg, hamburger meat, bun, What is what is going on? Oh 
Like, what is the point of this? Why is he trying to be so disgusting? He's forcing his disgustingness. You're drinking tea. Dude, he's so dramatic. What, what was this? It's tea. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> I am just so confused on why he's drinking his tea like that Like he's struggling to suck on that straw Also for all you losers out there that say Big Ed doesn't get any bitches Well Big Ed has this video where he proves that he gets not just bitches But a lot of bitches And one of them is you Look, he got three women! What is going on? Look at Big Ed with them bitches! What the fuck? It's not my fault. You mean like he farted in the water? Is that what? What you trying to say? That's how the water got warm because it was cold? I wouldn't be surprised with what he ate earlier. Plus him being a little chunky, I can imagine those farts being deadly, you know? I'm guessing that's what the narrator was trying to say when uh, he channeled his inner Bermuda and the water got warm? Here he is dressed up like a grizzly bear. Is it relevant to the story? What is this video? Nah, but we did it anyway. He is the second most interesting man in the world. And for all of you guys that are still not convinced that he has bitches, and you're probably saying that, oh, those are paid actresses. He hired all of them. How do you know that? Do you have bank statements that he sent payment? No, you don't. Unless you come here to my channel with bank statements that Big Ed paid them, they're in fact his real girlfriends and not paid actresses. But that's not just it. This video keeps getting worse. Big Ed is going to run for the governor of California. <laughs> it's not even April Fools. He is actually running to become the governor of California? Dude, you don't even know how to treat one woman properly. How would you treat an entire state? <laughs> they ain't lying though. He couldn't take care of one woman because he treated her like shit. Can you imagine what he would do to California? I pray for you Californians. I am so sorry y'all. Imagine if he actually went. That would be a whole different nightmare. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. Please, please hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon. I just wanted to come out here and remind you guys that the reason why you haven't seen Big Ed in a while is because he's actually coming back. I don't know when, but it's gonna be real soon because we haven't seen him in a while. I wanted to give a special shout out for all the people that are members on this channel. I really appreciate you guys. And please consider becoming a member. It really does help this channel out a lot. And shout out to all the people that already became members. If your name is on the screen right now, you're an MVP. You're cool as shit. You also have a big dick or you have a clean vagina. Is that like a compliment for women? What is a compliment for women? If you're a woman and you're sub and you're a member, what's like a sexual compliment that I can give you? You have a small vagina? A big vagina? I'm gonna stop before you guys get offended. <laughs>